Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Art 186, um, Computer Graphics with Adobe Illustrator um, for the summer or summer, the spring semester 2022. Um, anyway, today is orientation day, just to give you kind of a, a heads up of where everything is located, what you'll need for the class, um, and so on and so forth. And you let me know if I've missed anything or you have any questions, and I will be happy to, um, <clears throat> to answer them either today or <clears throat> we meet um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays at, or Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays from two to three. Um, if you need to be in touch with me at another time, um, just email me and we can set something up so you can have an individual one-on-one um, -on -one webinar, okay? Okie doke. So we are in, uh, I'm, I'm on my website right now, and that's kmart66.com, okay? So um, we'll be using both Canvas and my personal website. Um, so you'll have to be switching back and forth. Um, I want to start with my personal website, show you where some useful information is located that may be hidden or unavailable on Canvas. Um, for right now, my website is really multiple websites um, kind of rolled into one. Um, this one is about me and my resume and samples of my work. Um, Gallery 934 is uh, a website that I have um, for experimental work that I'm working on. I have a blog, and where all of you need to focus is on Kirk's classes. So what I want to do, and you'll see that I have a page specifically for Kirk's classes with samples of previous students' artwork to show you what kind of work um, we'll be doing in the class. So this may or may not interest you. Um, I have a handouts page. I have a weekly syllabi page where you'll find your syllabus in addition to the one that's on Canvas, but this will be updated weekly. This is the orientation video that many of you have probably already watched. And if you haven't, this will take you directly there as well as the one on Canvas. And for the video tutorials for this class um, and my other classes, there is a link to that as well. So let's start with Kirk's classes. So you can see, <clears throat> this is generic for all of my classes, but most important, what I want to do is I want to show you samples of the kind of work that we're doing in here. We use Adobe Illustrator, um, extremely robust program. It was the first, I believe, program that Adobe released back in 1988. Um, and so, we will be doing a series of lessons from the textbook. And I'll talk about the textbook in a few minutes, um, which version you need. Um, and then we'll be doing four separate assignments, which are kind of like tests. We don't have written exams in this class, um, but what, what I do um, do is I provide or I assign assignments that show or demonstrate to me how well you have mastered the tools and um, Adobe Illustrator and how well you can use them creatively. So I try to make the assignments open-ended. There isn't any one solution as you will see to any of these. Um, and my background is in fine art for the most part, but I also worked 10 years as a graphic designer and um, illustrator. So I kind of gear the class more for um, commercial art than I do for fine art. But if for those of you who are fine artists and want to work in more expressive styles, I'm happy with that. Um, you know, just demonstrate to me that you know how to use the program. Um, that's what it's all about. And I um, am a firm believer in learning by doing. So as you're giving specific assignments or tasks, um, that's how you're going to put all the tools to use. It's one thing to learn how to use Illustrator, but if you haven't, you know, it's like 
pointing to all of the tools in a um, um, in like a wood shop or something and say, here's a saw, here's a band saw, here's a radial arm saw, here's a hammer, here's an electric um, drill and that sort of thing. But what do you do with them all? You have to know how, to, you know, when the appropriate time comes, you will know which tool to use or sometimes it will be six of one, half a dozen of the other. You'll have to develop a, um, a system for yourself that works for you. So anyway, the first assignment that we will be doing, aside from the lessons, I separate lessons from assignments. But the first assignment that you will be doing is called a mask assignment. And that's where you can pick, you can design your own mask. You can pick one from a, a, a particular uh, cultural mask, or you can pick one from the theater mask or something historical. You know, it's, it's up to you. And, um, you know, if you don't know how to draw or you feel uncomfortable drawing, then pick a nice photograph and work from that. Um, but anyway, uh, this one was done by Richard Mallory several semesters ago. It's probably, he was clearly probably one of my best students um, from in many years and really is a beautiful example of what you can do in Illustrator. Um, the next example is slightly different, a little bit more stylized, but still really a nice interpretation by Nisa Acosta. And again, it's the mask assignment. So you can see already that there is a wide difference in approaches and techniques. Um, and you'll see as we go through these even more. This one was done quite a while ago by Jordan where he started with photographs, multiple photographs and brought them together um, into one unique math. Uh, next one is a little bit more um, abstract and stylized by Charles. Um, and still very successful, really, really nice. That's why I have it up here. Um, next one is a more traditional by Jaya um, Hamnani. Um, it was, I, th I don't remember for sure which culture, what kind of cultural or um, theater mask this was um, adopted from. But again, a uh, nice stylized interpretation, executed really well and really, really nice. Um, this one was done several, a few summers ago. Again, kind of unique, um, but again, done really well. Next one, a little bit more abstract, clearly stylized. Um, Catherine Liu is now working in the field and is very successful as a, a illustrator designer. Um, and this is one that she did. Really, really nice. Um, and this one, again, is pretty expressionistic. Really, really nice by um, Edwin. Now, this one isn't a mask, it's a portrait. And this will be an option for all of you for your final assignment to do a portrait or to do an architectural detail. It will be up to you. Um, so here's one example of a portrait. Here's another example. Again, contrast is significant between the styles. Here's another that Serena did. So this would be a good example of a final assignment. And again, another one by Richard Mallory, very realistic. Um, he was sort of a, a ringer that I had in the class. He already had a degree from um, Cal State Long Beach in from the art program in painting. And he wanted to you know, learn uh, computer graphics and learn the tools that are used in that. And so he had several classes with me um, um, from web design to Photoshop, Illustrator developed these particular illustrations. Um, another one that we do after that will be, I call it the Toki Doki assignment. <clears throat> but what it really is, is it's taking a design that you create on your own with some text and apply it to a product. And in this particular instance, we apply it to skateboard deck. 
And so this is one that Jenny Ham did um, a few summers ago, quite nice. Done as a series. Um, this is another one by Richard Mallory. We did a couple of them. I usually have you do three of them. And here's one more. Each one is considerably different by John Park. <clears throat> but again, three very different approaches to designing skateboard decks. Some are functional, some are more decorative, meant to be viewed on walls, you know, just to hung up on a wall. So that those are the examples that I have. Now, I don't have any examples on my website from architectural detail, but I can show you some at a later date. And uh, the final assign, which is the final assignment. Um, oh, yeah, so there's the postcard, not postcard, what am I saying? There is the mask, um, the Tokidoki assignment, and then the architectural detail or um, uh, portrait. And I'm missing one here. So when we go over to um, Canvas, I'll remember which one we have here. But for some reason, I'm blanking out at the moment. So these are the kinds of projects that you'll be doing in the class. So I don't know how much that interests you or not. Um, Next thing that I want to do is I want to now take you to the weekly syllabi page that I have, which I call This Week in Class. So these are the syllabuses, syllabi for all the classes that I teach. And the first one up is for Art 186. That's all of you. And you can see in a, a glance, uh, just a moment's glance, um, what we'll be doing this week. Today's orientation and what you should be working on on Thursday is the tour of Adobe Illustrator. And um, we'll, you should be reading lessons one and two. And um, there will be, there, there are already videos available for this, okay? That give you step-by-step -step instructions as to how to um, that give you a tour of Illustrator and to show you how to do some of the basic functions. Um, and then at the end of the week, I'll go ahead and I'll update this and you'll see what you should be working on next week. Now, if you want to go at a faster pace, you can. Um, and again, when we, we switch over to Canvas, I'll show you what we're working on. Now, hold on one second here. You know what? No, I am recording. Very good. I thought maybe I had forgotten. That wouldn't be any good. So um, a couple of things, what textbook you need. Now I have here Adobe CC 2021, but if you wanna use the 2020 or 2019, you're welcome to do so. There haven't been that many changes, um, any new tools introduced that you're welcome to use. Um, I have videos for both 2009, I think, 2000. 20 and 21, and maybe even 2019, I'm not sure, um, that are available for all of you. So um, it's a matter of going to my YouTube playlist and for that semester and finding the specific one that maybe, you know, if you're using an older version, if you're using a current version, the 2021, um, the most recent videos um, from this last summer will be available to you. Now, um, in addition to the textbook, you will need Adobe Illustrator. Um, where you can get that are a couple of different places. You can um, license Adobe Illustrator directly from Adobe, but I don't recommend that you do that. Not that I don't think you should, but I think you can find a better deal by going to collegebuys.org. So if you haven't purchased it yet, and especially for those of you who are taking me for other classes that use Adobe software, this is the place to go. So if we go to collegebuys.org, this wasn't working yesterday. Um, it's working now though. So this is, you know, when you're ready to shop there, um, you wanna shop now under the student category and we'll go ahead and, and shop. And it will ask you, what state are you from? California. You're a student, go ahead and submit it. And now it gives you a list of all the things, excuse me, that you can buy 
from collegebuys.org. Um, you can buy laptops, you can buy um, accessories for your computer, um, you can buy textbooks and all sorts of things, other software. Um, what we're interested in is right here. It's the Make It With Creative Cloud. So I'm going to click on that link right here. And it takes us to the Adobe um, Creative Cloud suite of software. For a six month license, it's $40. For a one year license, it's $80. So if you plan on taking additional classes in the summer or the fall, um, this would be uh, a deal to get. If you think, if you're not sure about what you want to do with graphic design or computer graphics, um, then maybe a six month license is for you and that's $40. That not only includes Adobe Illustrator, but Photoshop and Dreamweaver and maybe some other applications as well. I'm not sure, but it's, a, it, it's the best price that you will find. Okay, um, there's a new message down here. Yeah, that is a steal. Um, so it's only done through the com California Community Colleges that I'm aware of. And maybe it's subsidized somehow, um, but it's a much better deal than going through Adobe. Um, it, so um, I know that sometimes people have difficulty getting their license to work um, because they do require that you um, prove that you're a student. I think you can use, if you have a Cerritos College email, that's the easiest way to, to prove that you're a student. Um, but I think in recent um, years, um, they're accepting your, your Gmail addresses and maybe they'll want a, a copy of your current um, class schedule in order to determine that you're taking a, a class that uses the Adobe software. Um, I, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it, that's the way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So that's what you need. Um, Adobe Illustrator. Let's go back here. And let's come down here. Um, so other places that you can go for the software, but I don't think you'll get as good a deal is Creation Engine, Journey, and Journey Edge. <clears throat> for um, Lightwave and other, some other software packages that aren't readily available, Novedge is a, is a good place to go. Um, for textbooks, you may want to go to um, uh, Amazon.com. Okay. So that just takes you to the generic website. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll close that. And if I go back here again, but if you click on the, the classroom and a book series here, this takes you directly to the 2021 um, release. If you want to get it on Kindle, um, that's fine. Um, if you want an old, try to get an older version and get a cheaper price, that's fine too. Um, it all works, okay? So those are links to those that should be helpful to you, okay? Um, in addition to that, what you should also be aware of is that um, if you want to reach out on your own for um, additional, more advanced lessons in Illustrator, you know, if you really want to be challenged, then the place to go is LinkedIn Learning, which is formerly lynda.com. Um, it normally is $25 a month. But um, if you get your, your subscription through the LA County Library online, it's for free. And you also will have access to the, um, the files that you can download. So um, if I go to the LA County Library, for example, that's the link that I provided for you. Come on, don't do this to me. There we go. Um, you want to um, get a library card. So here's where you get your digital library card. Fill it out, it's a pretty short form. And what you also need is a PIN number as well. Once you have both of those, then you can go to their digital library and go to LinkedIn Learning, formerly lynda.com, and you can find um, courses 
that provide video tutorials on current versions of all Adobe software, as well as courses on learning HTML, on JavaScript, um, you name it, any number of subjects that, um, and very specific subjects, especially, you know, for Photoshop, if you want to learn about how to edit photos for, um, for weddings or something, you know, they, they have courses on just everything. And again, you have, will have access through the library of all of these, all of these. Now, in addition to that, you know, there's other courses that you can have online as well, which are really pretty nice. So I wanted to make sure that you're aware of that. It's not required, but I think it's a deal. Um, again, it's free. Okie doke. So <clears throat> the other place that we have to go here is um, handout page. So for all of the assignments that I will be giving you, here's the mask assignment. Oh, I forgot, there we go. Another one that I haven't given in a while, but I'm giving this semester is the product assignment. Um, so I I'm apologize, but I don't have any current samples to show you, but it's pretty straightforward. It's um, taking a photograph of a desktop you know, object. It could be a camera. Um, it could be a blender, it could be a toaster, it could be any number of things that if you find them aesthetically interesting, um, then what you need to do is you'll take a photograph and then you'll draw on top of it and to create a fairly realistic looking um, product. And I showed you the Tokidoki product, uh, project and then the architectural detail will be your final project or portrait, one of the two, it will be up to you. But traditionally, I give architectural detail um, in both the portrait because they are experimental pieces. I am not expecting any thing in particular. I just want to be wowed, as it were. You know, I want you to come up with something unique. You can just use your your creative juices, you know, uh, to in any way you possibly can. Okay, so that's where they are, and they're like for the mask assignment. When you click on that link, it comes up as a PDF file that you can print, download, um, or just view online. It's up to you. Okie doke. So that's all the information from my website. And then if we go to Canvas, let me go ahead and that's for ARC 196. Let me switch to 186. That's what I have this morning. So this is probably what most of you have looked at so far. Um, here's the email address that I prefer you to, to email me, not the one at school, but um, kirkmillerart at gmail.com. My website is either kmart66 or kirkmillerart.com. And many of you have already watched the required orientation video that I provide for all of my classes. And this orientation video is specific to this class. So I will be posting that on um, this semester's playlist. Um, as I mentioned, you can, the textbook, you can use the 2019, 20 or 21 edition, it really doesn't matter. Um, some of the lessons will be a little bit different from 2019 to 2021, but they cover the same tools. So um, they're really, you know, it's, it's, um, it's six of one, a half a dozen of the other, there isn't much of a difference between them. Um, they, they've made additions over the years to Adobe Illustrator, but I think in each of these additions, we're covering all of the current ones and all the useful tools. Um, this is the syllabus for the class. And I encourage you to look it over. The grading, as I mentioned, um, all the, the projects are weighted equally. So the final project is 25% of your grade. Um, the smaller projects, actually that should be 20%. So I'm gonna change these to 20 because there's three small projects and then the final project. So I need to go back in and edit that. So you have the four projects that you'll be doing uh, and that's including the final, they're all weighted the same. The lessons that you'll be doing from the textbook um, 
you'll be, you'll be doing lessons one through 14. And when you complete them, you need to upload them to Google Drive. That's why I asked you to, um, to go ahead and email me um, and in the subject, put your name, Art186, and um, place in their Google Drive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you that now. And at the bottom of this, here's a course summary. So you know when the, the mask assignment is due or should be done, and the Tokidoki assignment, the product assignment, architectural detail, and lessons one through 14. Okie doke. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and switch over here to Hold on here. Um, oh, I need to look at Google Drive because I want, I think it's, I put it here. I got so many windows open. I don't know what I'm doing here at the time. Here we go. It's over here. So um, when you have emailed me, um, you're going to have access to our 186 spring 2022 folder. Um, I will send you an invitation to join our shared um, Google Drive folder. And when I receive your email, I'll go ahead and I'll put inside it um, a folder for you. And inside that folder will be, um, let's try Andy Rodriguez here. I don't know if anything is on them yet. I've got so many things on my going on my computer right now. That everything is sort of slowing down. I will create a, an assignments fo a folder for you, and then within that will be an assignments folder and a lessons folder. So during the semester, as you're completing the lessons, you'll put them in this folder as AI files, Adobe Illustrator files. So I can see your progress and uh, the work in you know how you your, how you develop that project that lesson, and then as you complete the assignments, the same will be true. You will go ahead and you'll put it inside the assignment folder, and these are empty right now. Um, but that's where I would prefer that you store everything. Um, it doesn't. It's highly irregular if this crashes. Okay, so we should have access to all of that. Um, anyway, that's Google Drive. That's what I prefer that you where you put everything. Now, as far as um, doing the assignments and the lessons, and I said I kind of break them up a little bit. Um, I should probably explain this that I I didn't do this to the other classes, but um, the distinction that I make between lessons and assignments. So if we go to the, um, let's see where it is, attendance modules page, that's what I want. I've broken this down into like chapters, the same chapters that you would have in the textbook. <clears throat> um, so, you know, here's, you know, an introduction and tour of Adobe Illustrator. Um, here's, that's just the assignment, but here is the video, getting to know the work area. And that will be the same for all versions that you're using. Here's the video two for the lesson two that we'll be working on. And here's video three. But then in addition to that, um, you have, um, videos of previous lectures that I've done for older versions of the software. This is probably the oldest, 2019, and then I have some for the current version. Now, I was going to tell you the distinction that I make between lessons and assignments. Assignments are like tests, and I believe I already mentioned that. The lessons are kind of like a, um, working in a cookbook. You're given both the start file and the end file. And where, uh, and then you follow the directions and you end up with the final result. Okay. 
Now, if I go back to the, um, the Google Drive again, once you have the textbook, I have made available to all of you all of the lessons from the 2021 lessons here. So if I double click on this folder and you, you can download all of, all of them at your leisure. These are all the lessons. Okay. And beginning and, you know, and end lessons if they exist. And um, as Adobe Illustrator files, and you can go ahead and work from those. Um, because typically with, even if you have the textbook, you will need to download the lessons yourself if you get them from uh, you get them from Peach Pit Press, and you have to follow the instructions in the book in order to do that. But I make them available to all of you here. Okay, so that's where you'll get all of the lessons. And so when you do the lessons, as I said, it's like a cookbook. You just follow the directions, and by doing so, you learn how to use all of the tools and you follow their instructions and you see examples of how these um, tools can be applied. But then the assignments are a little bit more open-ended and then you need to decide for yourself what you're going to do and what tools and what you will need to in order to achieve your desired result. That's pretty straightforward, okay? <clears throat> Um, let's see if there are any questions so far. So I'm going to pause real quick. So what I'm trying to do with this is to simulate what I had done when I taught in person. Okay, try to get as close to that as possible. That if you you know, find my lessons or my videos to be kind of boring, um, don't watch them. But you might go ahead and I'll go ahead and I'll click on one here. And it should open up from, oh, there we go. I'm gonna open the video in a new window. So this is linked to, now, if you don't like what you've done, not a big deal. Yeah, because there always. Oh, come on. So this is linked to my um, playlist that I have in YouTube. Um, there's closed captioning for it, and I use the default closed captioning that's available from YouTube. So it's not perfect, but it's not bad. Um, the other thing that you can do in here is that if you want to speed this up, you can always use the settings here and you can change the playback speed. I don't know how many of you are aware of that, but it's set to normal. But can, you can always go in here and speed it up a little bit to get through the lessons quicker. And then you can pause and change the speed at any time or rewind if there's something in particular that you need to um, um, you know, review and to um, internalize and to really um, immerse yourself in that and to digest properly, okay? So let me show you all of the playlists that you'll have available to you. Um, I'm not recording live this semester anymore. I've done it for maybe a couple of years now. So there should be adequate um, resources for all of you to draw from. But if I go back to my original, let's close this. I'm gonna go back to my personal website. You go to Kirk's classes again, and we look at the video tutorials. This will take you to my um, YouTube um, channel. And if we look down here, you'll see that I have all kinds of videos here. Now, here's the, the, um, the computer graphics class for our, our semester right here, okay? Spring 2022, today will be the first um, link that should be in it aside from my orientation. But if you want, you can go back and you can look at the others and you can see that I have, here's the next one. Here's for the summer 2021. So these are all the videos. If I click on here, these are all the videos from here, from one through 
what, 20, lecture 22, um, of all the lessons that we did um, this past summer, okay? So you're starting with uh, an introduction to Adobe Illustrator, then we move on to lecture number two, which is a quick tour. And then lecture three, techniques for selecting artwork and so on and so forth, okay? And, you know, you can see the length of them. You know, they range anywhere from a half an hour to an hour, um, depending on, you know, how much time we have. Or um, sometimes you can zip through these lessons pretty quickly and some, some of them take a little bit more time. So that's, you know, for that semester. Now, if you're using an older version, um, let's go back. Um, let's go back and look at the summer. Uh, let's close this. And Adobe Illustrator computer graphics. Which summer is this? I don't have that. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's the summer. Yeah, you don't want to see this one. Here's the one from uh, Adobe Illustrator computer graphics for the summer 2020. Um, I normally teach this class during the summer only. Um, so here's with an earlier version of Adobe Illustrator. So you have everything available to you. And for those of you who are in my Photoshop class or my um, uh, 3D modeling class or my uh, web design class, um, these are all the playlists that I have going back for several years, okay, um, that are available to you just by clicking on that link. Okay. Um, so there we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to here. Um, we're running up against, we don't have too much more time. And uh, um, oh, Arturo, um, let, after we end today, if you have some time, um, if you want, I'll continue and we can look at your um, lesson one. But I saw it, you posted it and it looked fine. So, okay. Um, Okie doke. Oh yeah, let me continue with the weekly lessons. Yes, the, the lesson, the video um, instructions, the step-by-step -step instructions that I have for um, the lessons are from this past summer or the summer before. Okay, no changes. It's all the same, um, except for maybe the summer before that, I used the previous version of Adobe Illustrator. But um, this last summer, I used 2021. So that should be you know um, fine for you. So you can find the lessons on the book you purchased. Or if you're using, even if you're using the 2022 version of the book um, or the 2021, um, the lessons for 2021 uh, version are the ones that I made available on Google Drive. Okay. So again, they're all very similar. Um, some differences, not a whole lot. But again, they all cover the same tools. Um, I lost my train of thought, what I was gonna say here. Oh, um, yeah, and with regard to the grades, the lessons versus the assignments. Um, I don't grade the lessons individually. Um, you put them on Google Drive and I periodically check them. And then about midterm, I will give you a grade, you know, depending on how many lessons you completed. At the end of the semester, I will look at them again and if you've done all of the lessons, one through 14, you get 10 out of 10 points. That's 20% of your grade. For every lesson that you're missing, you lose a point. 
So if you're expecting a grade from the lessons during the summer or during the, the semester, you won't see that. You just have to keep track of it yourself and make sure that all the lessons um, are turned in. However, when you turn in the assignments, as soon as I receive them, I will make an earnest attempt to get them back to you graded with comments in, um, in Canvas as soon as possible. Sometimes it takes me a week, sometimes two weeks. If you turn it in late, I may not get to it for a month. But I try to get back to you with a grade as soon as possible. But as I said, if you, um, um, if you turn the project in late, and that's OK if you turn it in late. I know that I specified in the outline um, that you'll be docked and you'll be graded down and that sort of thing. Um, I give that to myself as an option if I get things terribly late and they look like they're done um, in two minutes and no thought or time has been invested in it, then I will, you know, you know, really grade you down on that. But if I get a project late that's excellent, um, you will not be um, uh, hurt by that at all. I will give you, you know, the grade that you deserve if it was turned in on time. Okay. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, oh, I was going to show you, and I've shown this to other students as well. Um, I said that mostly I, I'm a fine artist and have been for many years, but there is a commercial aspect to some of what I do. But this last, um, um, semester or last year, um, due to COVID, um, there wasn't really any opportunity for me to um, show my artwork. So um, I went ahead and I built a virtual gallery. And these are all the renderings that I did in our 3D modeling program in Lightwave. Um, all of the artwork that you see on the walls um, is real in the real world. Um, some of the sculptures, the large ones, exist in the real world, but not at that scale and not in that material. But um, some of the other work that you see here on the wall, that little um, relief sculpture exists. Um, this, image, this sculpture that you see in the foreground exists, and I have um, um, I have exhibited it before. These exist in the real world. I have not had the opportunity to exist it, but to exhibit it, but um, that's where they exist. This illustration or this illustration, this sculpture back here has been um, has been exhibited and exists in the real world. Since most of what I do, I build in the computer and then output with 3D printing, or I have fabricated in steel or other materials, it enables me to go back in and to rebuild it in the computer and put it in a virtual setting, um, which is really kind of nice. So that's that. So let's see what else we have here. Okie doke. Um, Anyway, that's some of my recent work, but if you wanna see the other stuff, you can look under here under old work and new work to see other sculptures and pieces that I've made. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say goodbye and I'm gonna pause the recording and I will be up on our YouTube channel um, within about an hour or so. And then um, stick around Arturo, I will uh, elevate you to panelist. And then you can share your screen with me or we can talk and I can help you. And that's pretty much what I was planning on doing for the webinars um, for the remainder of the semester. If you are not able to follow along or having trouble doing any one of the lessons or you want feedback on your assignments, want a, you know, a, a critique of it, you know, private critique, then that would be the place to do it. Okay. And if you can't, participate in a lot in the live webinar as we're doing now, um, then contact me by email and we can set up a one on one webinar at a time and day that's more convenient for you. And hopefully one that I can do. 
Okay. If that's it. Um, Okie doke. So I'm going to wave goodbye. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Um, you're welcome to go ahead and leave if you want um, or stick around.